Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios and today I have something really cool for you. This is the first Premier Club release of 2019. These beautiful Welsh ponies by Josine Vingerling are Rianne, a Welsh mare, and Cadell, the Welsh foal, colt actually. Now these guys are really cool because um, they are actually chalkies, which means for those of you who don't know what a chalky is, a chalky is a briar that has an actual painted white base coat. Lots of briars are just painted on the bare plastic, um, but these guys, as you can tell with how sharp and crisp their markings are, they have a white base coat that has then been masked off and painted on top of. So they have this really soft look and their white markings are super crisp. All right, so um, Rhiannon and Cadell are the first release of 2019 for the Premier Club and they're both uh, sculpted and designed by Josine Vingerling. I, I can actually read you guys. We got this letter from Stephanie at Briar, their vice president of marketing. And she said, for the first release of 2019, we're excited to bring you Josine Vingerling's first traditional sculptures for Briar, the Walsh Mountain Pony Mare and Foal, Rianne and Cadell. Josine has previously sculpted Django for the 2016 Stablemates Club and we were thrilled to have her both sculpt and paint the initial deco for this beautiful new pair. Jocene's talents extend beyond sculpting and painting. As you can see for yourself in her frame-worthy sketch of Rhiannon and Cadell, you've received with this letter, a premier collection exclusive. From the way their positioning connects them to the incredible soft hues of their coats, which really pop thanks to a chalky white base coat, Rhiannon and Cadell are a stunning example of what the premier collection is about. We can't wait to get this sweet set into your hands this May. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Let's see what the COA has to say. Congratulations, you now own two of the most beautiful and unique models made by Briar. Rhiannon and Cadell are the first releases in the 2019 Premier Collection of new sculptures featuring exquisite hand-painted decoration. The Welsh Mountain Pony, or Section A Welsh Pony, originally called the Mountains of Wales home, where they were used for everything from farm work to riding mounts. While diminutive in stature, the Welsh ponies' combination of refinement and strength leads them to being exceptional riding and driving ponies. In her first traditional scale sculptures for Briar, artist Josine Vingerling dutifully captures Welsh mountain pony characteristics such as a delicate head with bold eyes that shine with intelligence and a compact yet muscular body. A multi-talented artist, Josine also painted the prototypes for Rianne and Cadell. So we have a nice dapple gray mare, and she's actually flea-bitten too. Let's pull this guy aside and take a look at her. So she has these really, really nice, very subtle, soft dapples. And then this is all overlaid with this lovely flea-bitten coat. Striped hooves complete the look, and yes, they are carved. There might be a little bit of sand in there. We went to the beach earlier, but as you can see, like her frogs are carved out, just absolutely beautiful. And up at her face, the lovely blaze, she's got a chin spot, very, very cute. And flipping over to the other side, what a lovely shaded mane and tail. I mean, just look at the like detailing on that, the way the hair flows and how the paint moves with it. Just very, very beautifully painted. And she's even got a little Sabino belly spot too which is a characteristic of Welsh ponies. You can have Sabino in Welsh. Um, overall, I mean, I, I'm i very happy with her. I think she's an absolutely lovely, lovely mare. And I haven't heard many people that have had issues with these horses um, this year so far. Um, yeah, as you can see, her seams are really cleaned up nicely. You can barely tell there's even a seam at all, even down in her tail. So really lovely mare. And then here is the foal, and I believe he's supposed to be a buckskin, but he looks like he is going to gray out as he gets older. The only thing that kind of bothers me about this particular mold is just how thick this throat latch area is. But he is, he does have his head tucked and he is supposed to be, you know, kind of pulling himself upward while he's tucking his head. So it's not so big of an issue for me. It's just a little pet peeve. But he is super cute and he does have herring texture as well. He's beautifully haired. And then the way that his markings so cleanly fade into his legs, he doesn't have actual masked off markings, um, but just nice clean fade 
of the black that they've used here into that chalky white base coat. And yes, Baby does have carved feet too. Very, very cool. And then his face marking is where you can really tell that he's chalky. But overall, super cute. Eyes are painted really well. And I love the way these two look as a set. I mean, they're just absolutely adorable. Now the other Premier Club collection horses this year, um, apparently the next one is going to be a run by Jen Scott. Um, some, of you, some of you may know her for sculpting the Stablemates of Allegro and resins such as CoverGirl and Anise. And I believe Levi is one that she's done as well, um, which I am super excited for because this will be her first traditional sculpture for Briar. And when her resins, her traditional size resins, sell for about 500 bucks a pop blank, I think getting a $200 version in the Premier Club is going to be really cool. Now we have yet to have any clue about what breed or color that's going to be, except that um, on, in this letter here, it says it's a breed and pose that are frequently requested. So it kind of makes me wonder what Briar has in store for us. And then after that, um, we have another Bridget Eberl mold, which I'm really excited for. Arabs, drafters, and warm bloods are what Bridget is like really known for, and she just nails them every time. So this is apparently her first cold blood for Briar. I think it's some sort of Russian cold blood drafter, which are big, hefty, chunky horses, and I am super excited to see it. Um, it says the model is now underway with the tooling engineer, and a resin copy is with Summer Prosser who is going to be doing the paint design. And then at the end of the year, we are going to have a stablemate model with a brand new sculpture by artist Laura Skillern. Um, for those of you who know the Don't Eat the Paint blog, that is Laura right there. All right, guys, we have the first release in the 2019 Premier Club. We have Rian and Cadell. Um, what, what release are you most excited for? I'll put a little poll up in the corner. Are you, you really in love with these or are you still looking forward to the Jen Scott horse or the Bridget Eberl Cold Blood? Let us know up there or in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.